Today we are going to discuss about another new topic in your 8th class biology that is about the safety rules before going to attend an experiment. To do an experiment in the laboratory it is must and should to know the safety rules what we have to follow in the laboratory. See once here. Uh, safety in science. In the science laboratory, what are the rules generally the students have to follow? Here we have mainly seven rules. It is must and should everyone should have idea on these rules. First one, think ahead. Think ahead. Study the steps of the investigation before going to attend experiment in the laboratory it is must and should to know the steps of investigation the experiment what we are doing in the laboratory we should have idea the main idea the people who are going to conduct the experiment who are going to do investigation in the laboratory they have to know then move to the next one okay if you have any doubts um, related to that topic related to the investigation before going to the laboratory only you should clarify your doubts with your teacher then move to the next one be neat uh, it is also must and should uh, why we are doing investigation or experiment in the laboratory we should keep our area to be clean and if you have long hair try to pull the hair back and if you have long sleeves, we have to pull the sleeves to up. To make uh, um, the sleeves should be away of the experiment chemicals and many things are available in the um, laboratory. We should avoid contact of our cloths to that chemicals and certain uh, fire producing appliances also. Our cloth should be somewhat tight and they should not to be contact with other items which may be harmful to our body okay that is be need then move to oops what is meant by oops why doing experiment if you get any cut to your fingers or on your body or something happen something may broke uh, any conical flask test tube or anything the chemical containing appliance or a Tools, if they broken means immediately it is your duty to keep, to inform that matter immediately to your teacher. Okay, if you get any hurt to your body or if you break something in the laboratory, you should not hide that matter. Immediately you inform to your teacher. It is very safe by informing to the teacher. Okay, then move to the next one. Wash your eyes. Before going to do any activity, if your teacher asks you to wear safety goggles, then you have to wear goggles to your eyes. It keeps you, who keeps you and your eyes to be safe. You should take care about your eyes by wearing safety goggles. If you are uh, going to do the experiment which includes uh, poisonous chemicals or harmful substances, then it may show some effect on our eyes. That is why it is must and should. If you are going to do such kind of experiments with the chemicals, it is must and should everyone have to wear safety goggles by the permission of your teacher. Then move to the next one. What is that? Act. Why you are doing any science experiment? It is must and should. You should not eat or you should not drink without asking your teacher. Okay. Some certain varieties of people, they have interest to taste chemicals also. If you taste like that, you may get some injuries in your mouth. Uh, your mouth may bleed and your tongue may become sore. It is not good to taste uh, any drinks or uh, some items which are available in the laboratory or some people they may bring snacks box to the laboratory and they have interest to take snacks in the laboratory it is very very bad habit try to avoid such kind of activities we should not drink or eat in the laboratory while we are doing experiment or investigation then move to the next one what is that protect yourself from shocks Sometimes we may do our investigation or our experiments with the help of some electrical appliances. Uh, why we are using electrical appliances? It is must ensure 
we should be aware of electricity and you should not touch the electrical wires and switchboard plugs with your wet hands you should be aware how to use that appliances by having the knowledge only you should operate that electrical appliances other otherwise it may leads to electrical shocks and be aware of electrical appliances and be safe from shocks then move to the next one keep it clean after completion of your experiment or investigation it is must and should everyone should keep your working area to be clean if you fall something on your area working area you only have to clean that area and keep all your tools and instruments in the place um, which makes them to be safe from breakage like that you have to keep your working area in neat manner it makes you to give interest and make you to have some attention on what your teacher is telling that's why everyone to be safe about uh, your working area and keep your area as clean as possible and then here we discussed about seven safety rules uh, what we have to follow in the science laboratory what are that ones we call here think ahead before going to attend any science experiment it is must and should everyone have to know the steps of the investigation if you have any doubts immediately you have to ask your teacher and you should have knowledge on it then move to the b need if you have long hair or long sleeves be aware of that long hair try to pull it off or back and your hands also you should fold fold it back then hoops hoops means if you get any cut or you suddenly immediately without knowing if you break anything if you broke any tool the any instrument immediately you have to inform to your teacher then watch your eyes means um, you should take care about your hands legs along with your eyes okay sometimes we may do experiments with uh, dangerous chemicals that's why it is better to wear um, goggles safety goggles to your eyes if your teacher ask you to wear then add you should not drink or taste any kind of substances which are available in the science laboratory then protect yourself from shocks we should be aware of uh, uh, electrical appliances everyone should have knowledge while we are using electrical appliances which is available in the laboratory then keep it clean after completion of ever investigation and experiment everyone should clean your working area with your own hands and to making your area clean makes you to work in a joyful environment okay this is about today's session by this session your 8th class first lesson is completed that is what is science in the next session we are going to discuss about the second lesson in your 8th class biology thank you for watching